What's going on everyone? I'm Rohan, I'm a fourth year medical student currently studying at Cardiff University and today I'm gonna be watching a labours. So basically the main aim of today is to see as many babies be born as possible, either by normal vaginal delivery or by c-section. Well hopefully some of the mothers actually let me watch some of these labours. People sometimes become scared of me. Loki kind of worried though. So hopefully I get to see a lot today and I'll take you along with me on the journey. Let's get into it. <laughs> Things happened yet. Pretty much packed then. Yeah. So currently waiting for somebody to go into labour and uh, I'm in the room doing some work. Well on that massage chair, absolutely amazing. Highly recommend. <laughs> massage chair time. I'm currently waiting for a patient to give birth. I'm in labour with her for like two hours. And she started like all 30 in the morning. I'll just be standing there for two hours. So hopefully she gives birth around six o'clock. And then your boy's good. You see the birth. No vagina delivery as well. All of the elective C sections aren't happening today, they're happening on Monday. It's a bit deep, but that's it. The lady did more water. I'll go get the water. <laughs> Now let's get back to her, the screaming is free all. Everything is all done, now let's get off home. The day is done, it is seven o'clock. Fam, I saw a birth, a vaginal delivery. It was actually the craziest thing ever. You know what, in retrospect, when I joined medical school, I didn't think that the first time that I see a baby being delivered, that it wouldn't be mine. Stuff like that, quite mad. You know what, it's actually such a privilege watching this because the mother was so funny. Let me explain. So during the entire labor, which started at 4.30 this morning and it's now seven o'clock, the baby was delivered at quarter to six. It was a long ass labor. This mom was cracking jokes. She was saying like, I heard of a lady push out 22 children in the UK and that women should definitely get medals for giving babies which I completely agree with it is an absolute terrifying experience this mother was literally screaming and swearing she spoke Polish so she was speaking in Polish swearing in Polish shouting in English swearing in English it was just a whole badness so when I was there I saw her starting contractions around 2 p.m around five centimeters then then at 6 p.m she was at nine centimeters and then the baby came but I was like god damn this is crazy Loki I feel kind of emotional you know like when the baby came Came out and the mum, you know, she'd be going through so much. It was so painful for her. But when the baby came out and then she put it on her chest and you know the baby cried and the cutest thing ever. Little side note though, baby shat everywhere. Like it pooped on the mother and then it was it pooped everywhere. During the time that I was there, me and the mum were having some bants. The mum was talking about how when the baby comes out, she's gonna whoop the baby's ass because it caused her so much pain. The mother was trying to keep the birth as natural as possible, so didn't have any sort of pain relief whatsoever. Little to say, the mum was high as hell. It was too funny. And then at the end of the labor, right before the baby was delivered, the mother was literally just swearing at her husband in Polish and shouting at him in Polish. He literally tried to comfort her and she just whacked him away like a little fly. But all in all, I feel really privileged to watch this happen. Most mothers probably wouldn't let a random medical student watch while they deliver a child and go through so much pain, but this mother did. And for that, I was really grateful. So this is just a note for the future medical students out there. When you join medical school, you don't think that you're gonna be able to do any of this stuff, but you do. People are so willing to help you and teach you. This is one of my last weeks on Obs and Gynae, and that means that it's one of my last weeks of placement in fourth year. Damn, that's crazy to say. So that about wraps up the video. That's basically all I saw. It was a really intense labor. One once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow my Instagram page as usual. Let's go.